The pull-up is a really popular exercise and if you're watching this video, I guess you do pull-ups as well. But are you sure that you're benefiting the most out of this exercise? In this video, we're gonna do a test, a reality check that will show you how well you actually do the pull-ups. What's up guys, it's Adam from gymnasticsmethod.com. If you don't wanna miss my videos about bodyweight training and lifestyle, please subscribe and click on the bell. Thank you. And if you wanna get access to all the Gymnastics Method workout programs, tutorials like planche, handstand or muscle up, nutrition guide, daily workouts and much more, click the link below and join now on gymnasticsmethod.com. Before we start, I'd like to draw your attention that I've already made a detailed video about how to do proper pull-ups with the preparations, prerequisites, main progressions and the right technique. So if you haven't watched that video yet, do that first. But now, I'd also like to highlight that most people know the pull-ups with the execution where your chin goes over the bar. However, this is not the full range of motion. In the how to do the pull-up video, we've already discussed that there is nothing wrong if you do pull-ups like that. However, you need to know that if you want to benefit the most from your pull-ups, you need to do it in the full range of motion. And the full range of motion is when your chest touches the bar. That's the end. That's the ceiling of the exercise. This is how you can build strength and size in the maximal range of motion and you can ensure the weight to the muscle up. If you want to go higher than the chest to bar, you need to do explosive pull-ups. Also, if you do it slow and controlled, you can do a slow muscle up, which is another exercise. Of course, you can say that the chin over the bar pull-ups are enough to build muscle and I've already mentioned that in the pull-up video. But the point here is that if you want to have maximal results and transfer effects in calisthenics, then I suggest you to practice in the full range of motion. But this is not easy, I know. Based on the experience of hundreds of students I work with, I know that even do one rep is difficult, not to mention more repetitions. We've discussed in one of my previous videos that most people skip the right inverted rows, especially with elevated legs, that's why they can't build up the strength for the chest-to-bar pull-ups. In that video, we did a test that you can try if you haven't already or if you're struggling with this one. And now, let's talk about the test. I was thinking a lot about how many reps should we do in this challenge, but my conclusion is the following. In general, for the majority of people, I would say that even doing six reps is a good level. As I mentioned earlier on the channel, I had many clients who did five to six reps and were able to do muscle ups on the rings and on the bar as well with this basic strength. So five to six reps is a decent basic strength with this implementation. But I know that many athletes are watching this video who can do five to six reps easily. So for them, I think the basic level is the 10 rep range, which will be also challenging. So in this video, you will see 10 reps will go until that. The full challenge is 10 reps three times with two minute rest between the sets. You can shorter the rest time if you want to, you can scroll forward, but I think most people will need the two minute rest to perform in the next set. If you can place your device to see and follow my movements is perfect, but if you're just listening, I will also count the repetitions. Before you start, I suggest you to warm up and do your prehab routine. You can find a complete five minute warm up video and plenty prehab videos on the channel in the prehab series. And if you're interested in the complete Gymnastics Method Prehab Routine, Beginner, Intermediate and Advanced programs, click the link below and join now on gymnasticsmethod.com. You know all the important info, so let's start the challenge. I'm gonna count the reps like this. And one. And two. And three. The word end means the lower end point of the exercise. After I said the word end, I will immediately count the rep where you need to do the movement. So listen to the word end to get ready and after that do the rep which I will count. Are you ready? Let's get it. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six and seven and eight and nine and ten
Let's get into the second set. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Let's get into the last set. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. How was it? Let me know in the comments how many reps could you do. If you couldn't do one rep of chest to bar pull up, I suggest you to step back to an easier progression of the pull up and work on the inverted rows. You can find help for both on this channel. If you succeeded, then congrats, you have a decent basic strength. If you could do 5 to 6 reps, you can start working on the rings muscle up, for which you can find the 5 key points, or you can start the bar muscle up, for which you can also find the two most underrated exercises on this channel. If you could do the 10 reps three times, you can do the same at pass weights or work on the one arm pull ups or chin ups. You can find tutorials for those on gymnasticsmethod.com. Once again, I would be happy to see your experience and results in the comments. And if you are interested in the complete proven to work gymnastics method system, you want to learn all the most effective and iconic gymnastics and calisthenics exercises with the proper sets and reps, and you want to get the shredded physique of a gymnast, click the link below and join now on gymnasticsmethod.com. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, if you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. If you don't want to miss the new videos, subscribe with notifications on and see you next week in the next video.